Hello guys, this is Boytech and welcome to week 3 of Yukon and Ireland Key Award Challenge. And this is race number 6 and we are back in Great Britain. Uh, we are racing at Silverstone International Layout. And we are just about to start. Off we go and I cut a little bit too much of a wheel spin. And not a great start. I'm already in overtaken three white in the T1. And unfortunately I had a contact with some traction. And lose loads of ground. Because I'll be able to defend against Andy Dalton, so I stayed on six. Jamie Rashford beat of a travel there. But he recovered nicely. But I will have a run on Simon Field and just take a look if I can do anything about that. I would say nine. No contact, clean. And much better actually than Simon Field, so I'm back into fifth position. Lucky enough. Now, so up front we have a uh, Gary Pickens, he was on the pole position, and again, same as at Brand Hatch, he's already putting a cap, he's got amazing pace up front. Uh, it's gonna be really hard to touch him, especially in this one. Okay, Jack Cedric and Richard White, uh, second and third respectively, and then at fourth, Jamie Rashford. Uh, so there was a bit of drama on the first lap, but now it's all settled down. Uh, everybody has a clean, clean air. Just a time to put some good laps. Now, unfortunately, uh, I was unable to participate in week two. That's why I didn't have a video on the channel. Uh, and that was a triple header at Road Atlanta. So I already lost uh, three races in this series. Uh, but we have a five drop weeks to be used. So I will be able to recover that, I hope. So nothing to worry. Uh, I will definitely be trying to find the general classification. Now, a bit quiet. We noticed that I really have some trouble getting out the last hairpin. I usually lose loads of ground there. And I also noticed that uh, I made some mistakes with my setup I used. Uh, I put the wing on three, which is quite a high wing. And that means I was losing plenty of speed on the straightaways. And was really struggling for speed over here. It's, it's definitely going to help me in the long run, uh, because the car is more stable, I won't be sliding around the corners. But as you can see, for now, I really cannot catch up to Jamie Rashford. And again, uh, Jack Cedric and Richard White up front, uh, putting a nice gap in front of us. But Jamie seems to be struggling here a bit now. And it's getting very, very close. Okay, so it's going to be interesting now. A 
had to slow down a bit more than I would expect. But again, that's the difference in the setups. Uh, I have a high wing. I can be a bit quicker in the corners. But you can see now how Jamie would drive away on a straightaway. I really can't keep up with him. Despite I'm in the draft, I just really think kind. But again, next corner and very close behind Jamie. issues for Jamie. I hope it's gonna be disappearing soon because it's really not a good conditions for close racing. That seems to be good now for the moment. And I noticed Jamie actually lose some ground. Uh, his face kind of fell off a bit. Uh, Jack and Richard up front uh, actually running away quite easily from us. And again, Gary Fickens up front. Uh, the red car up there, we could barely see him now. But it's still uh, in the field of view. Uh, so now Jamie Rashford, me and Simon Field in a battle for fourth place. We'll see how it goes on. Richard Wilde just took the second place of Jack Cedric. So some two wide action there and it's loaded down significantly. Jamie catch up to them and soon it's gonna be four, even five cars gonna battle for a second place now. Try to sneak out on Jamie, but he just defended very nicely. We didn't actually expect him to go inside so aggressively, but nicely he defended, no problem. was for white for Jamie but uh, didn't really affect him. He's going wide again. And no, not this time for me. And again, let's see. Uh, I had to lift there a bit. My mistake. And Simon Field gonna have a look at me there.
Oh, and going back to setups uh, with these cars, it's really interesting. Uh, and there seems to be a few different approaches. Uh, Gary Pickens up front, he's using very low wing as far as I'm concerned. Oh, just give me a second now because I have a go at Jamie. I'm definitely gonna have a. I'm up front and then I will have a inside line for the next corner. But again, he's got so much more speed on the straightaway. Side by side. Still not decided. Slow down us a bit. And I just got a more bravery going into this chicane. And took the spot of Jamie down. up to fourth position and we'll see what's gonna be up front now all I can do is just hope for some battle uh, between Richard and Jack and we can see it now uh, Jack Cedric is taking back his second position So, uh, coming back to the setups in Kia, uh, Gary Pickens is using a very low wing, so the car is slidy, uh, very tricky to drive, but apparently he's able to hold it and he has a tremendous speed. As you can see, he's already 7 seconds in front of me. Uh, and it seems to work for him very, very well. And I know some other drivers uh, would be using a different uh, camber as well. And the camber, to find the proper camber for this car, it's also very tricky. Uh, the more camber you put on the front wheels, uh, the more grip you will have on the corners. But it's so easy to overheat the front tires and once you overheat them you just lose plenty of grip so you can ride, uh, run a high camber and you will definitely have uh, plenty of speed in the first uh, five laps i could say but then you, you're just gonna suffer a big uh, fall off and i think jamie is in that situation at the moment. I think he's running a camber of 2.4 because I noticed he was asking about if it's big enough or, or it's too big. In my opinion, a uh, camber in front wheels of 2.4 is way, way too big uh, for a race. Uh, you could use that kind of setup for the qualifying, but not really for a race because you will simply overheat your front tires and you, you will suffer greatly. You will just your times will follow big time. Uh, I decided for this race to run camber 1.6 which is a uh, very low camber. So as you could see uh, first few laps I really didn't have too much speed. Uh, I could barely catch up with Jamie but now he just falling behind. He is already two seconds behind me. And now where I just can pick up plenty of speed. Now we could see Richard Wright uh, again taking a second place of Jack Cedric. So there's plenty of dicing in between those two drivers for a second place. And it's really amazing how this, uh, how good racing this car is providing. There's plenty of good, good racing. Uh, you cannot, uh, sorry, you can actually uh, uh, make a little contact and it really doesn't affect, it uh, doesn't cause any damage to the car. So close racing is really not a problem uh, in this car. Like so, some of the other cars that are racing, uh, really the, the smallest contact would just uh, put significant damage to the car and you would have to be really really careful uh, to don't damage your car and, and you sometimes will be over cautious uh, 
And again, now we are on the last lap. Jack Cedric had a contact with Richard Wilde. They both lose uh, time. Uh, I was able to take the second position. And as we are on the last lap, that's most likely how it's going to end up for me. So I was very lucky in this situation. And you could see in the background, Oscar Hardwick uh, is taking a third spot this race. Uh, we didn't have a chance to see him earlier on, but now he's on the third position. So, And I'm not actually too sure uh, what position he qualified on, but definitely he progressed throughout this uh, short sprint race. Uh, plenty of positions gained for him. Uh, so the last few corners and we're going to be taking a check red flag uh, so i invite you to go and take a look at the second race on my channel it will be reverse grid uh, 21 laps on the same track uh, sorry it's just uh, top 10 will be on the reverse grid so i will be starting at the ninth position and it's definitely going to provide uh, loads of good racing. So I'll see you there. Uh, thanks for watching.